Welcome back to Vault Hunters. In today's episode, I want to level up. I want to reach level 25. Now, when we reach level 25, a few things are going to happen. One, we will be able to start finding unidentified vault gear, which I'm really excited about. But also, we will probably, yep. So, for example, Mega Jump Shockwave requires level 25, dash bullet 25, dash recharge 25, dash power up 25. Basically a lot of things are going to unlock for us. So that is the goal for today's episode. But first two things. One, I've updated the farm area, which I quickly want to show you, but also we have one unspent knowledge point from the last episode. And... Yep, I, yep, I just took furniture. <laughs> this is because if we take a look at refined storage again, it only now costs two. And I really want to get into some sort of storage system because this is slowly becoming a nightmare. Now, regarding the unspent skill points, I'm going to save them for Elvish because and fall damage, it, 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 it's starting to annoy me. But now in the last episode, if you recall, we made a bee farm. And as you can see, I have decorated it and expanded with a bunch more hives and it's working really, really well and I'm super excited for it. I also added this lovely path connecting these farms up to these automated farms over here, all of which are running really well, as you can see. Especially the melon and pumpkin farms are doing really well. Uh, except for this one, that, that's, a, that's an issue with the hopper minecart. <laughs> I need to fix that. And I went ahead and continued this path all the way over to the mob farm. And I just realized how, how did I miss this? This is completely, no, this is, this is no, 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 no. I cannot, I no. I cannot continue this knowing that this is not symmetrical. No, this is, this is disgusting. I am disappointed in myself. There we go. Better. And I missed that corner too. Ay ay ay. Listen, I was tired when I did this, okay? But the mob farm is doing well, and if we fly up real quick, you can see that I have actually done a little bit of decorating. Added some stuff to the corners there, and added some pillars around here. I think that adds to it nicely. I still need to fix a few things around here, but that will be a future binary problem. Because we are going to be busy crafting a lot of vault crystals. We have plenty of vault rocks, so all we gotta do is just pop it in here and hope for easy recipes. That is not an easy recipe. Eight cakes, however, are an easy recipe. Boom. Gold. Gravel. Uh, we're good. Now raw chicken. I've had this one before and this is why we make farms. I'm actually scared that there's not gonna be enough chickens here at all because I need 40. Yeah, there's definitely not enough chickens here. Well, I suppose that I need to find some. I'll see you in a bit. This is a bit of a dangerous task, but I think I now have enough. I think I've been running around for like 15 minutes and I'm not kidding. <laughs> Hunting for chickens and boom. First vault crystal completed. Now, I don't actually know how many of these I need to make, but uh, we're gonna just make a few here. Why? Okay, the seeds are easy. And the side easy. Charcoal, easy. Turtle egg, not as easy. I don't even think I have andesite. I actually don't. I actually do not have any andesite. And I need 740. Please tell me one of the statues have been making it. Diorite, nope, 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 nope. Of course not. Like I said, the seeds are easy enough. And now I'm struggling to find andesite out of all things. We wait a minute. You can use diorite together with looks like any sort of cobblestone to get andesite. Okay, I might actually be saved. Right, I definitely have enough diorite. Right, so diorite. Yes, perfect. I just need a bunch of cobblestone, which honestly shouldn't be that difficult to get. 818 should do the trick. Perfect. It, however, still does not solve this issue. And I think I marked some, yep, turtles. I marked turtles for this exact reason. Turtles, turtles, I have seagrass for you. Turtles, can turtles despawn? There is an alternative though, an expensive one, but an alternative nonetheless. I've given up. I'm gonna use Larimar gems to get this, hopefully. 
Yes, perfect. I will just have to look for more turtles another time. There are my gems like so, turtle egg. Boom, this better be worth it. That's for sure. All right, second vault crystal achieved. Huh, that's actually not half bad. This is quite satisfying to be honest. Cobweb, hmm. I believe that I need to find a mine shaft, and the best chance of finding a mine shaft will be in the mesa. So update, this does not count towards a mesa biome. It's a red desert. So yeah, that's a bit of an issue. I believe I have found what I have been looking for. Finally, only issue is I have no torches. Why are there so many creepers? Whoa. Hey, buddy. Uh, right, I need this. Huh. I got it. Mine shaft. There's a lot of creepers back here. I do apologize for the light, but I simply do not have any torches on me. Anything in the chat? Ooh, golden apple. That's actually not too bad. Ooh, torches. Nice. And that's a spawner, which I don't really want any part of. Yeah, I definitely don't want any part of that. I think I have enough, so I'm just gonna head on out of here. Meet you back home. <laughs> okay, done. That was an annoying one. To be fair, all of these three have been annoying in some one way or another. Please, can I get one that is relatively easy? Of course. <laughs> I'm, I'm really, really happy that I brought, that I brought more than just one back home with me. Ah, you don't say. I wonder where I would get that many pumpkins. Our farms are proving useful already. 1,537 should do the trick. Yep, that's four. Hmm, that one might be an issue. Oh, never mind. You know, I appreciate these easier ones. Hold on. What's that? Packed ice? I really don't want to... Oh, this is packed ice. I really don't want to take down these things, but I guess I only need a stack and if I go in the far corner behind here, I guess I can allow myself to take some. And there we go. That's five. Eh, no. I think five volt crystals are going to do the trick. All right, so I'm going to do this a little bit differently than all the other vault runs that I have done. Previously, after each vault run, I would go through the loot. Not this time. This time I'm going to keep running vaults until we get level 25, or until we get enough cookies to get to level 25. So without any further ado, let's go. Difficult, speedy, and personal space. Love it. We need three obelisks and and we start in a city room. Are you kidding me? I'm actually going to wait with this obelisk because that's right next to my home portal. I could take this and probably run away. Anyways, uh, sue us. <laughs> this is great. This water is honestly so annoying. I really wish I had Depth Strider on my, on my boots. It would make this experience a whole lot better. So far we are off to an excellent start, I must say. I believe that is everything in the sewers. Time to move on. Second obelisk located. My plan is to find one more and then I'll be able to just basically head right back where I came from and defeat the boss. I do believe the more time you have remaining in the vault, the more loot you're going to get from defeating the boss. Ooh, well, speaking of which, <laughs> <laughs> that is. I would consider it this room, but not really. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't think I've ever met one of these before. I believe that this... Isn't this like a... A puzzle room? Yes, it is. Okay, so I believe... Ooh, okay, I'm actually kind of excited for this. I believe I need to loot these chests and then I can find things that solve the puzzle and then I can unlock it. Yes, blue puzzle concrete. So I need that. A yellow one. Put anything that I don't need in here for now. Another blue one. Now, even if I'm not able to f solve this puzzle, I believe I can save these and use them in another vault at a later date. Another yellow one. This is a bit time consuming though. <laughs> Especially considering there's a lot more in this place. 
a green one. Now I don't actually remember how many I need, so we will go up and double check. We need three blues, three yellow, and two purple. So we have two yellow, four blue, one purple. We need one more purple and one more yellow. Another yellow one. Okay, we just need one more pink. Blue. Come on, we need we we, we have we have to have at least one more purple in here, right? Or pink. Is it pink? Yes, pink. Yellow. Blue again. Ugh. Blue. Pink! I think that that is it. Ow! I believe that's it. So, pink, pink, blue, 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 and yellow, yellow, yellow. Right? Do I have then? <gasps> that was... I don't care if we don't meet the boss fight. This was worth it. Oh, wow. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Uh, okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, despite that... This has been so much worth it. Ooh. Omega chest. And there we go. That has definitely been extremely worth it. All right, back to the starter room and initiate that boss fight. And if I regret my choices, well, then I can hopefully jump right back through my portal. Yep, there it is. It's in the city room. I forgot about that. All right, time for a little bit of preparation work. Get some of these things out of here. I could eat a golem apple, which gives me 10% resistance for two minutes. Definitely need the power up. I do have the candy bars. Also going to need hardy apples. Yeah, I'm going to use the power apple or the golem apple. Why not? Right. Uh... I think that that is it. Eat power bar. Eat this. Choose this. Activate rampage. Here we go. Pokemon, you have a sword. I do not appreciate this. Come on. Alright, have health. Zombie, you're getting in the way. <laughs> Pokemon has minions, apparently. And done. Boss crate achieved. Whew. This vault has definitely been worth it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna... I don't really want to block off my chest room, so I'm gonna... I'm just gonna place a bunch of these crates here. I'm not gonna open them just yet. So, we only got this much level, but we did get a bunch of vault cookies, so I'm just gonna keep running these vaults here. Here we go again! Wrapped and... strong. Oh, strength! Oh, nice! Okay, six obelisks. That's definitely not something that we're gonna get done this vault. However, I will still activate it. <laughs> okay, village room, I believe, right? Vault time? Yes, I will take that. Let's see if... Oh, I think there's a portal room. Yeah, boy! There is indeed! Ha <laughs> ha! Zombie, get out of here. You too. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I didn't get... No! <laughs> I didn't get any storage thingies. Ah, uh, that is probably my biggest mistake to date. I can't believe I didn't grab my storage things. I always forget something. Okay, well, I just need to be even more like on point with what I'm grabbing here. Only take the utmost <laughs> important things. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I will be able to fit, like, most important things, however, so... Yeah, things like vault cookies, stuff like that. Yeah, this... Huh, this has probably been the biggest mistake I've done thus far. <laughs> obelisk. Well, there are certainly a lot of obelisks. I mean, if I find all of it, I suppose... Finding a vault boss would make up for... <laughs> my mistakes. Ooh, another village room. Ah! Monster Soul. I can certainly take that if I don't die in the process. Do not like skeletons here. I feel like maybe I should get a smite weapon. Okay, I don't recall coming past this, so I have a feeling I might be slightly lost, which scares me. Yeah, I... <laughs> I didn't come from this way. I found the sixth obelisk. However, 
Yeah, I guess this is an okay place to fight it. I guess as good as any in my situation here. Okay, I'm not honestly 100% sure where I am, but I'm just gonna take this fight because then I don't need to worry about where I am. Don't have any power bars, so... I guess this will have to do. Poster of strength, cobalt apple. Come on, boogeyman. Yikes. Also activate that. Whoa, you do a lot of damage, I forgot. Hardy apples. Forgot hardy apples. This could be a tough fight. Maybe? Uh-oh. Wait, actually. OP? Strat right here? OP Strat? I got it, boss trait. <laughs> I stuck it in the water. Well, it kind of happened by accident, but... Huh. Okay, and we leveled up to 18. Gonna stock up on a few potions here, as well as a power bar. And before I mess up again, <laughs> the storage has been acquired. Am I missing anything else? I don't think I am. Next, difficulty and lucky. Nice. Six obelisks again. Well, you know what? It happened last time. It can happen again. Definitely not fighting the vault boss in this one. I will say though, I am feeling a lot more comfortable running these vaults now than I did when I did my first <laughs> vault run. I mean, I'm not even using waypoints anymore. I only did that at the beginning just to guide me, but I, I honestly don't need them anymore. It just takes some getting used to and getting to know like the vault structure, if that makes sense. I hate these. I hate these. Go away. Yeah. Whoa. Hello, buddy. That that's a boring chest. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that chest... <laughs> that was so empty. That was the most pathetic dash I've ever done. Hello. Never seen this room before. Uh, also, I'm a bit confused on where on earth I am at the moment. Definitely think I might be a bit lost. Never mind. Phew, okay. I actually think I might have been in every room there is in this vault. Ow. Ow. I'm pretty sure I just the other day read a comment telling me to bring a water bucket. Alright, things are getting a little bit dangerous. I am out of healing potions in my inventory. I still have some in my box though. But I'm also occupying myself in a room filled with TNT that if ignited, is not gonna be very good. Part of me wants to go through the portal and just leave, but I also know that I want all of the XP that I can possibly Did he get? Oh dear. Okay. Okay. I think I'm just gonna stand here and uh, hold down the fort. Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh wow, look at that. Pressure plate on top with a TNT and, of course, poison. But look at that. If something pressed on that, well, this whole area could go kaboom. All right, 50 seconds remaining. I'm out. <laughs> nice. That is another vault run success. We now have quite a lot of loot, but I must have more. And I just realized that I was about to leave again without storage. It, this really shouldn't become a theme here. Third, slowed. Okay, you know what? Compared to everything else, not too bad. Four obelisks required, not too shabby. I do a power bars to fight the slowness. So far, I haven't had that great rooms, honestly. Second obelisk finally located. Please have a portal room. I think I do see some sort of light. Okay, that, not gonna lie, was a bit confusing. It didn't let me go down. <laughs> but, we do have a portal room. Uh... That's not supposed to happen yet! And now I'm dealing with a silver fish infestation. Next thing I'm gonna figure out is if creepers can climb ladders or something. Get rid of this. There we go. Get rid of you. Uh-oh. 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 
how do they? Oh, hello. Uh, how did you get here? I am no. How is this stuff killing you with one hit? <sighs> I hate silverfish. I think I'm good now. Grab in and let's go. And none of them blew up. Would you look at that? Time for me to get out of here. Aha! Uh -huh. The room of death. Fourth obelisk has been located. I feel like I'm almost doing a boss fight in every single vault I enter. Just me. Power bar. Nom 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 nom. <sighs> Rampage. Power bar. Booby man. Showtime, buddy. Whoa. Whoa. Have health. Whoa, hello. And done. Huh. Mission accomplished. <laughs> and we are now vault level 19. And let's just take a moment to appreciate uh, the nice old world weather. I can almost smell the fresh winter air, despite it being a video game. Looking good. And I think I might start looking through this loot because I'm all out of health potions. And also, we are running very low on vault crystals anyway. And we are level 19, so maybe I'll be able to collect enough vault cookies to get us to level 25. We do in total right now have 41 vault cookies. That's norm. 20. I don't think we're gonna have enough for this. Unless we get really good ones, that is. 22. It's gonna be really close. And by close, I mean not close enough. <laughs> 23 and a half, but we do have, however, this trade right here. Three bronze for one vault cookie. So in total, I have 36 volt silver, and for each cookie it is... Oh wait, sold out? Ah, oh, that's a good price. So yeah, oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why don't I get these then? I should be getting these for free if I'm selling them to myself. But anyways, we would only get 12 vault cookies, which actually, now that I think about it, it might be enough. Uh, you guys might scream at me for not using my vault money on this, but... Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Boo. Well, that was a disappointment. <laughs> you know what? We made five vault crystals. We're running five vault crystals. No matter what it takes. Let's do this. Trapped and easy. Oh, nice. Ooh. Now, I think this time I'm going to focus on looting as much as possible because, well, vault cookies, but also to get as much XP as I can from being in the vault. Now, I know I didn't take a, a uh, box with me, which was a mistake, but my main focus is going to be cr not crystals cookies. Oh, echo ore. I think that's, isn't that like quite rare? One vault cookie down. Ooh, what's this? I mean, clearly a spawner, which I'm not a bad big fan of. So far, I'm not getting as many vault cookies as I would have liked. XP levels, 46. I don't have 46 levels to give. <laughs> I want to, but I just don't have... 46 levels on me. Again, another XP levels. I don't have that much. Cake? Uh... I don't know what that... Does it give me? Come on, vault cookies. Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. This is a corner. <laughs> Okay. We're good. One thing to remember as well, these Relic Booster Packs does give me a tiny bit amount of XP. So if we have enough of them, we might be able to use those to boost us just a little bit. Issue. Slight issue. Slight issue. Slight issue. 
Life is you. We're good. We're good. Okay, maybe not. I'm out of healing. I am out of healing. Officially. Oh. Okay. I am actually out of healing. Oh wait, gold apple. Okay. I think it is time for me to head back. Alright. We're back to the overworld. And it's snowing again. Plus it's night time. So we are at level 24. And I only have one. Okay. Ah. And I only have one vault cookie to my name. Yeah, that wasn't quite enough. I think that you know that I know that you know what this means. Yep. Got everything <laughs> that is needed. Yep, we're doing a sixth vault run. I'm gonna grab my final empty boss crate here. Extra health potions have been made. Final thing that I want to grab before we head in. We have 10 unspent skill points. Elvish. So much improvement. No fall damage. I basically cannot take fall damage anymore. But look. No fall damage. <laughs> this is huge. Okay. Sixth. Vault run, here we go. Okay, no modifiers. Seriously? I sp my start my starter room is one of these. Wow. Okay, what do we need? Three purple, three yellow, and two blue. Ah dear, I don't think I No. I forgot to put this the spare ones that I have in my, my chest. Okay. Well, down here I go, no modifiers, so it's not crowded or anything like that, so... Oh wow, off to a great start already. I forgot building blocks, of course. Like I said, every single time I forget something, but we're getting a lot of blocks here. Aha! And I do believe that I have the ones that I need for this. I do... Indeed, look at this! Look at this. Oh, okay, that one was empty. We're gonna forget about that. <sighs> uh, okay. The, the Vault Hunters is just out to give me a heart attack, isn't it? it? It looks like that is exactly what is going on here. Great loot indeed. Alright, this has definitely been worth it, but of course now I do want to check out other vault rooms as well. What is this room? I've never been here before. I hear guardians. Do let me know if there's something I'm missing in this room, which there most likely is. I guess the primary thing in these rooms are ores, which I mean don't mind if I do. 16 minutes remaining. Really love the no fall damage thing now. I have one minute left. I just want this one chest. <laughs> just a few, if I can, of these. And then I'm running straight back home. Alright, less than a minute. I need to hurry. Actually, if I mess up, I could lose everything here. 30 seconds. Oh no, am I actually not gonna make this? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't mess this up, don't mess this up, don't mess this up, don't mess this up. No, oh, okay. Oh. oh man. Okay. <laughs> Ten seconds to spare. Okay, my heart is actually racing from that. Okay, I need a minute. Whew. I think I caught that maybe... A little bit too close. I might be shaking a bit. But on the plus side, we now have 8 volt cookies, which results in... Level 25. We did it. And now these three, they're no longer usable. Because they don't work after level 25. Oh man! Alright, so it is time to quickly go through all of this loot. And there is a lot. Gonna start off with all the vanilla items. 
That's actually a lot to go through here. Definitely gotten a lot of compressed blocks, which are, ow, which is excellent. Lot of netherite as well. Look at that, 25 plus four ancient debris. Even more netherite scrap and ancient debris. And a lot of enchanted books. I need to start probably looking through these. Maybe organizing them a bit. I'm actually running out of space for all my books. This is a bit of an issue. All right, I have gone ahead and emptied a bunch of these. Everything down condensed into these right here. So all vanilla items are out, all of this is vault loot. So let's have a look, because there's a lot. So we got a bunch of these puzzle uh, blocks right here, which I'm actually really excited about, because I will be able to put these in my wooden storage crate, and I'll be able to use these in then future vaults, so I don't have to search for them there and then. So that's gonna be really cool. Next up, we have a bunch of trader cards here, as in a bunch. How many is this? Five, 10, 16. In total so I should be able to basically just be able to right click all of these in here and this list is now extremely long so we can now buy power bars some of these gems as well oak drawer that's cool choice flask is valuable vault diamonds is valuable of course and yeah that's sick. All right, this is empty now. All right, what is next? We got a bunch of candy bars and we got a bunch of different apples. So cobalt apples, ghost apple, we've already taken a look at, golem apple, jade, hardy apples, of course. Lucky apple gives you plus one luck for 30 seconds. That might be useful to take if like we have, for example, the puzzle room, like the 25 gilded chests, taking this and then quickly looting all the chests might be a good idea. Next up, we have a bunch of different gems and I believe, yep, Echo Gem, a legendary vault gem, and Black Opal, a very rare vault gem. So we got quite a few very useful gems here today. Next up, we got a bunch of statues here. Dirt, Iron Plate, Slate, Netherrack, Limestone, Diorite, and Bricks. Nice. I don't know how many spaces we got here. Uh, okay, can I remove you? Sorry, stress monster, you gotta go. <laughs> Definitely don't have enough space for all of these. Uh, need more, two more chests. Boom, and boom. We will, in the very near future, be using some of these old statues that are no longer, well, generating items. I'm not gonna say that they are no longer useful, because they are indeed still a little bit useful. Next up, we got a bunch of different vault ores. In fact, we got Echo Ore and Black Opal Ores as well. Add that to the collection. Magnetite, not that exciting. Seven vault diamonds though, and two stacks of star essence. That is amazing. I wonder actually, I think, do we? No, unfortunately we do not quite have enough vault diamonds in order to make another knowledge star. That would have been cool though. Got a bunch of catalyst fragments and vault bronze as well. Vault nuggets and vault essence and vault dust and another soul flame. Bedtime. We got us two stacks and 13 relic booster packs. This is gonna take a while. Okay, we actually got some stuff here. What did we get? Okay, a mystery box, dragon breath, a vault relic. Craft together with the four other pieces from the Dragon Relic set to complete the Dragon Relic. A relic increases your time in the vault permanently by 30 seconds, but only once. Excess relic statues can be smelted down to create bitter lemons. Ooh, okay. Cupcake pink. So same thing, two different sets. You guys have to help me out here. What are these different uh, sets here? I don't know about these sets. I, I think I know what the relics are, but I don't know about the sets. I assume armor sets? I, I don't know, I'm lost here. We got another one, 12999 head. <laughs> Again, increase the vault time by permanently by 30 seconds. That's cool though. I haven't had that before. They can head right in here on a special place. Next up, we have mystery boxes, which is going to be an absolute pain to clean up, but here we go. Like I said, an absolute pain to clean up. As in a real big pain. Look at all this stuff. My chests are actually starting to fill up. I, I, need, to, I need to sort out my storage very soon because I'm starting to put things where they don't belong because I don't have room. Like here as well. The, nope, no more space for glass. Gonna put it elsewhere. Got a bunch of burger pieces, which is awesome. Skill essence? 
never had this before. Finally, 35 mystery eggs and a power bar. Interesting, you can use mystery eggs to make a mystery hostile egg. Contains a random hostile mob egg, right click to open. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if these have another use or if I can just open these. Do let me know down below in the comments. Am I safe to just open all of these or are they used for other recipes that I don't know of? I mean, this is the only one it shows. Um, but yeah, do let me know down below in the comments. And that is it. We did a lot of stuff today. <laughs> We reached Vault level 5, we got Elvish, we basically don't take full damage anymore, which is like, awesome. And we have 6 more unspent skill points, and of course, we should now have in here, yep, a bunch of unlocks. So in Dash, for example, we can now choose specializations, which doesn't take a skill point. So we have Power Up, Recharge, Bullet, Mega Jump, Drill, Shockwave, Fart. Cleanse, Mend, Rejuvenate, Immune. We got stuff for Vein Miner as well. Yeah, we have a lot to choose from here. So guys, feedback down below in the comments. What specializations do you think I should take? I can choose specialization for Mega Jump, Dash, Rampage, Vein Miner, and Cleanse. And what should I use my six unspent skill points for? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. But guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and if you're new, do consider hitting that subscribe button and enabling those notifications. And I just want to say, if you haven't done so yet, I would highly appreciate it if you check out my second channel. I'm currently running a farming simulator series over there, so if that game interests you, head on over and check it out. And I'm hoping to do other games as well in the very near future. But that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye. And th this is kind of satisfying.